Hello there, people of the internet. Today we have the privilege of taking an in-depth, behind-the-scenes view of the workflow that created a truly impressive piece of AI video. This creator made fully rendered 3D models and environments which were then used to create high-quality first-frame images to generate video in Kling 1.6. And the end result is some of the most impressive AI video I've ever seen in terms of speech and facial expression. I do encourage you to go and check out the original video yourself, link in the description. I won't spoil anything about the premise, but I will say it's pretty f***ing hysterical. And while you're there, please comment and like and subscribe and do all that fun stuff, and be sure to let them know that I sent you. Without further ado, let's get into it. By the way, folks, real quick, I do want to announce that I have finally made that second channel that you all have been asking me to make for some time now. For those of you who enjoyed listening to me go on unhinged rants about socioeconomics and politics and whatnot, what kind of politics, you may ask? Well, the kinds that involve pitchforks and guillotines, of course. <laughs> so if you'd like to hear me pontificate about the impending apocalypse and the soon-to-be total collapse of Western civilization, go ahead and give it a look. Link is in the description. I look forward to seeing all of you there. But uh, enough about that. Let's talk about today's AI video. This short film called Keep Your Head Down was submitted by channel member Yonderlore and was created using Daz Studio 3D, Kling 1.6, Runway Act 1, and Dreamina AI Avatar. It was also created over three months ago, which is an eternity ago in terms of AI video. And yet, as I mentioned, it has some of the most impressive speech and facial expressions I've yet to see in AI. So here's the trick. All of the characters and props and environments in this video were rendered from scratch using Daz Studio 3D. This allowed Yonder Lore to create very specific and consistent characters and control everything down to the smallest details, including the characters, their poses, the props, the backgrounds, everything. And because all of this was rendered in a fully navigable 3D space, it made it possible to get the exact desired camera position for each and every shot and thereby overcome one of the biggest obstacles in AI video generation. Each shot was hand-tailored and then extracted as high-quality still images and used as either the first or final frame images in Kling 1.6. They also used Runway Act 1 for the speech and lip sync, and honestly, I think this is some of the best work I've ever seen with Act 1. The amount of articulation on the facial features and head movements for the characters is very compelling. I'd really like to see what they can do now that Runway Act 2 is out. Other things that I like. The writing is fantastic. Honestly, I think the best joke is in the first 10 seconds. Hey, did you try any of the stew? Didn't Rognak cook today? I'm not sure if I will. Reckon I'll pass on the runs this week. I'm rather fond of these pants. I am a 35-year-old child, and therefore, poop jokes are peak humor. <laughs> Things that I don't care for. What is up with this aspect ratio, my dude? Why is this so tight? It just makes everything feel claustrophobic. You mentioned in your notes that you framed the shots in 4x3 to optimize for social media, but the video is three minutes long. I mean, I would have thought that optimizing for YouTube in 16x9 would have made more sense. And you could always crop it down to 4x3 if you really wanted to. I don't know, maybe I'm misunderstanding the intent here. Some of the pacing is a little slow. The monologue that this character delivers at the end especially is a little ponderous, but I think the deadpan delivery of the humor buys you a little bit of leeway here. But other than that, I don't really have much else to criticize here. I mean... I know some people might not like the relatively low-resolution art style, but I actually really like it. It reminds me of a cutscene from a PS2 game. It's very nostalgic. I think using 3D rendered characters for your first and final frame images is one of the more creative hybrid AI workflows I've seen so far. In short, I like it a lot, and I'd like to see more of it. I hereby enthusiastically award to this a not slop. Not slop. Up next, we have another AI video submitted by channel member Agaton Team AI called Destroyer of Worlds. It was created using VO3, Cdance 1.0, Midjourney, Eleven Labs, and Suno. This is the third in a series of AI videos with a total runtime of nearly 40 combined minutes. 
which is daunting. According to Agaton, they spent over 100 hours working on this video specifically, and that the overwhelming majority of this time was spent getting the lip syncing done properly with Eleven Labs voice dubs. They make no mention of cost, but I can only imagine how expensive it was to generate all of these clips. The character consistency is definitely a strong point. The overall aesthetic is very coherent from one clip to the next. All that said, I do have some problems with this project overall. First and foremost, this video is about 98% exposition. Just characters talking to each other about the plot. I can totally appreciate why it would have taken so long to get the voice dubbing and lip syncing done right, because that's basically the entire 20 minute runtime. Even if this weren't an AI video, that is a very high ratio of exposition for basically any video project. But the AI makes it worse because of all the awkward pauses, abnormal speech patterns, and of course, the uncanny valley. And it seems like the only thing that breaks up the exposition are the fight scenes, which are, well, here's the thing. AI is terrible at fight scenes, and it's not your fault, it's just they're not great at depicting complex mechanical movement just yet. The same problems arise for things like dancing or doing stunts on a mountain bike, as we've explored previously on this channel. I think you have a good idea here, and clearly you are willing to spend a ton of time and effort working on AI video, and that is admirable. But unfortunately, you're fighting an uphill battle by focusing so much time and effort trying to get AI to do stuff that it just isn't naturally good at doing yet. By contrast, AI is very good at things like world building and making cool environments come to life. You have some of that, but not nearly as much as I would like. We spend the overwhelming majority of our time in this sterile white lab environment instead of exploring this cool virtual reality world you've created. If you haven't already, go check out the trailer for Tron Ares. Who knows if the movie will be any good, but they're clearly trying to accomplish the same thing that you are, merging reality with virtual reality, but they're very focused on the world building aspect of it. This is more of the kind of stuff that I would like to see from your project. So to quickly summarize, I really appreciate the amount of effort that you've put into this, and I don't want to denigrate that. But I think this is a good example of working really hard to climb a ladder only to find out that the ladder is leaned against the wrong building. I would suggest that for your next project, you focus less on dialogue and fight scenes and more on world building. If you do that for the next video in this series, let me know when it's done and I'll take another look at it. But in the meantime, you know what must be done. Sloppy. Also, I'd like to point out that this person signed up for the highest possible level of channel membership, which I am grateful for, but let it be known, I'm going to give my honest opinion about these videos no matter what. I think anything less than that would be a disservice to all parties involved. Anyway, folks, that's all I have for today. Again, please go check out these videos, give them a like and a subscribe and some encouraging words. I'd like to see both of these people continuing to make video. And again, please go check out my other channel if you're interested in listening to me go on absolutely unhinged Charlie Day level rants about politics and whatnot. And if you're not interested in that, no worries, you're not going to hurt my feelings at all. If you're just here for the AI stuff, there's more of that coming. Thanks again, everybody, and I'll see y'all next time.